Here with Dell EMC and AT&T to learn a little bit more about Edge. So uh, Kevin, I'm curious to get your take. What's Dell EMC's strategy for really helping build out Edge infrastructure? Yeah, you know, it's, it's maybe a funny statement, but we're really looking at Edge from an end-to-end -end perspective, right? We're looking at the implications from a centralized architecture perspective as to how we've previously deployed tens of thousands of things at centralized locations. What are the implications of now ones of things at tens of thousands of locations? How do we think about automation? How do we think about operations? We're looking at it from a perspective of how the mobile network in a 5G environment is evolving with things like control user plane separation, where previously centralized user planes now move closer to the edge. We're looking at it as a centralization function for radio access networks as we see things like virtual RAN technology and centralized baseband processing. And then all the way on the other side of the radio, we're really looking at the endpoints themselves, the gateways themselves in an IoT environment, and also the client side devices that we have both available to the enterprise and consumer across the Dell portfolio. So what's the operator perspective on that, Vishy? Yeah, I would say it's just again, uh, you know, we at at and have been leading the kind of the industry in terms of looking at the opportunities for what a software-defined network in conjunction with network function virtualization means for us. Uh, so kind of uh, as part of their journey, we're looking at what kinds of network functions can be moved out closer to the edge, kind of tying to some of the things that Kevin talked about earlier. So that is for running our network functions at the edge. But I think what that puts us in a position to do is two things. One, to help kind of translate that into what means for our enterprise uh, customers from a B2B setting. Uh, whether it's figuring out are there opportunities to deploy a multi-access edge cloud uh, to allow whether it's a manufacturing customer or a public sector customer to maybe keep some data very local to their particular factory floor or a location or to use uh, things like object recognition closer to the edge or from a consumer perspective building the network infrastructure so as these media rich in immersive applications become mainstream, we are in a position to support that and, and we see tremendous opportunities for the network to be synergistic with these kinds of applications and services that get built out. So as we combine this edge computing power with 5G and really open up the new set of IoT type applications, what's the big picture, Kevin? Yeah, I think, well, first and foremost, when we, when we deploy the 5G networks in combination with edge, We've really alleviated some of the challenges we've had to date of trying to deploy rapidly, uh, rapid real-time latency and latency-sensitive interactive type of applications. So as we start to think about the evolution of this industry and the opportunities here, I think we'll start to see a number of new vertical use cases start to appear, ranging from first responder to e-health use cases, gaming opportunities that we haven't had before, AR, VR type use cases, retail use cases. I think that the world of possibilities in this space is really going to be determined by the verticals and how they look to adopt and recognize the advantages that 5G and edge computing can really provide to them as compared to what they've previously had to live with, which is massively scaled, centralized, latency-intensive, centralized data centers. And so, Vichy, AT&T's got 5G and R live in 12 markets. You've got a lot of these vertical plays through AT&T business. What's the big picture from your perspective? I think, uh, absolutely like you said, I think there's lots of you know, fundamentally transformative applications that exist out there. So I think one of the things is AT&T we, uh, we pride ourselves uh, on is listening to the broader ecosystem, whether it's customers, uh, whether it's the broader kind of partner ecosystem, or whether it's the emerging ecosystem from a startup perspective. Um, so at the AT&T Foundry locations across the world, we are engaged pretty actively with our ecosystem. Uh, uh, all the way kind of across the stack, where there is people building uh, gaming pipelines, new kind of innovative encoding formats, et cetera, to figure out how do all of those fit within the context of an edge and 5G environment. Well, thank you. For this. Lastly, it's, it's really created this opportunity for IT companies and service providers to partner in very different ways to, to tackle this industry. So I think the ecosystem looks very different going forward. Well, it's an exciting time, and I thank you for sharing your thoughts. Thank you. Thank you.